We finished! We finished! Everybody jump up and down! Yay! We finished! He did nothing at all! So you just still here because it's going to be... He helped us with the occasion... Yeah, he did it. Okay, guys. Turn the fan off, would you, for now? It's loud. We bring you, with much happiness, our second giant Lego build. As you can see, this is by far the largest one we've done to date, and it'll probably be the largest one we've ever done. So, we're going to start off with the sides here. We got our, we got the government, and then over here, we got the rebel line. Now, we're going to start off simple with the rebels. So what happened here is they're fighting in an area where in these three spaces there used to be an ocean. It dried up. So the rebels are using the dried up docks and their ships as their main area. Right here, right here, and yep. right there. As you can see, they're using whatever left supplies they have left as they're in this boat. They have guards, a guard here, and then they have a mortar here. If you guys are wondering where we got this, we took it off of that fire truck. So they have a mortar here, which they've been launching attacks on. Their main base, they have two rock anti-air rockets. Their generator and communication systems. In the front here, they have two people guarding the main room where the commanders are. And here are the four rebel commanders arguing over what to do. Here is a little anti-aircraft turret that will come up, shoot at aircraft or humans, and go back down. And fans of us and our other LEGO build will remember our little clock. It's just there for nostalgia and all that. So then we're going to go to their main medical base, as you can see here. You got a guy with a bandaged up hand and a doctor bringing a medicine. Then soldiers just lounging around and one guard on duty. Right there. Sorry. And um, over here, see, they run out of places to bury their dead. So what they do is they slide this window open, slide the body out, and someone else comes and dumps it in here where they have a ton of dead people. And then every few months, they dump them in the river. After a body, they're like old dead body parts. And here we're going to take you to the swamp. Over here, this used, back straight behind this, this used to be a rebel communications building, as you can see the parts here and here. Until this plasma cannon destroyed it and severely injuring and killing a lot of people. Now, the reason the skeletons are all because when the, are here because when the rebel capt rebels capture someone, they tie them up on this ra old radio mast and leave you to rot until your skeleton either breaks apart or, you're, or you just fall apart and land on the bottom here. But, oh. And here, they have a sniper, and they have another scout coming there, and the government has put up a little sign here warning their soldiers that this is rebel territory. And what happened here is the rebels are attempting to evacuate this area, and that's what's left of... Well, it was an Avengers troop carrier or whatever. So it got shot down, sinking to the bottom. There's a pilot still trapped, and one of the passengers got out. And there's a little boat guy, just because we need a boat guy. We got a boulder, and this is boat their main little power. Awesome. This is their main power area. We got their generators over here, and the boat guy, and the rock, and a medical vehicle. I'll show you that in a second. And if I come over here now, so we basically showed you nearly everything. So here we go. And we have this. So what we have here is a gate that leads out, so the rebels will drive this back allow their soldiers to pass through, and put it back up. Right here's the medical truck. We broke apart a tow truck. Main area, there's the stretchers, and we added two side stretchers on either side. It might look like they're on the ground, but they're not. And so we have a guy here loading up someone here, and the reason they're loading him up here is because here was a failed attack. As you can see, they loaded a truck up with explosives, and they were going to drive it through the wall so and try to blow up a ranger base. But you see... Angry guy with Thor's face is holding the detonator. Is on his shirt, he's been shot. He's the only one left of the attacking force, and he's going to blow it up and take out this ranger base. And this is the government's ranger base. As you can see, there's the ranger commander in the red hat. Small, a, reg a regular ranger. A re another ranger. And then a special operations ranger. And in here is, the pr is a rebel prisoner. It's kind of hard to see. Right there. Oh, God, I'm not even on it. Rebel prisoner. All right, and then they have a, this thing that I built, an automatic sentry turret. Looks like, it's a bow and arrow, but it's more of an explosive device on an old radio tower. And that is basically the first ranger base. Yeah. And now we're going to take you to this part here. This plane was bringing supplies and food to the rebels. But with this plasma cannon, I mean with this freaking massive turret, the government shot it down. Now we're going to bring you to the best part of the build. All right. The freaking okay. massive, giant government forts where their army is being held. Now Matt knows this place like the back of his hand. Matt knows this place like the back of his hand and he is going to show you guys what we're doing. So Matt, start up at the top of with the medical room and let's give him a tour. Alright, if you lower down in here, if you take the roof off. Alright, so you see like uh, this fire 
the, the soldier, I guess, soldier, has been like disfigured or whatever in a fire. Uh, he was bringing like a fire truck or something. Like, I think he was trying to put out the fire on the plane, and the plane exploded and horribly burned him. So you know, you got the little doctor tending to him, and then there, I had to do this at last minute. Here's their medical supplies like bandages and morphine. So put the if you put the roof back on. Up here, I guess, uh, Matt, it's like a walkway, right? Yes. Yeah, then you gotta walkway. have a soldier guarding it, and then up here they have their flag. They have a spotlight to look for aircraft. And they have a smaller searchlight. Favorite thing is the wind tower. We'll show you that at the last second. And here's a spy that they caught trying to sneak into their base, and they hung him, which is a little harsh. But then again, the rebels kind of tie you up and leave you there to die. Over here is just a little area, a side entrance, I guess, for an escape. Over here is like a little signal beacon if they need help, they light it, and that's just lighting. And as you can see, we have the little medieval guys scattered around. We chose the medieval guys and gave them guns because they were all wearing an official uniform, yeah. which made it easier to find people. Over here, we have a generator. Oh, yeah, and, my um, favorite organ. Yeah, there's an organ there for some reason. And uh, Matt built this little command center right here. It's hard to see, but there's a general in there, right? Yeah. So tell us about the front gate. Oh, uh, this front gate? Yeah, that front gate, the main well, gate. There wasn't really a backstory to it. I guess it was because they just they blocked off their gate, and they have a plasma cannon up there. It's actually pretty freaking awesome. And, um, now, I really, you know, I wish that we could get more views on the zombie map than this because we, we actually put about six hours into it. We only, but... Um, well, yeah, on the zombie map, I think we put multiple days. And the reason we did that is because it was, I, our, it was our first build. I started making it first. Yeah, he started making night. it like two days before I showed up and started helping. And by the time I was over there, it was just a few random things. Then we put it together over the next two days. And the reason that is because we didn't take as much time. We built for probably maybe two hours a day. This thing we spent roughly five hours doing. And it is probably, it, I think it is the largest Lego map I think and any of us have ever made. for you guys because yeah, we're doing it's this almost the end of the summer. It's almost the end of summer and we, we told you, I told you guys in an earlier video this year that I, we were going to get videos out this summer. And we never did. And right before our school starts, probably two, uh, two weeks before we go back, this is what we give you. Six hours, roughly five to six hours of building time. In the update video, we showed you what we were doing throughout the time. We built this, guys, for you. We built this for you guys. Because you guys obviously loved our zombie map. Even though it wasn't very good, it got not... It's, it's approaching 10,000 views now, actually. Yeah. And we really hope you guys like the quality of this. And that you guys will really give it a good, a good vibe here. I, I love this thing. I really hope that you guys love it, too. And I hope that we get all the views we hope this map deserves. And to finish it off, we're going to show you guys the turbine. Uh, power up, Matt, power up the fan. Alright. Oh, we, we could, um, like more subscribers. Yeah, but we have like 53 now, so we're good. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that zombie map has given us more subscribers than any other videos ever have. Yeah. So sorry we're taking your time, but here you go. As this powers up, their wind turbine starts to blow. It's the smallest and most insignificant thing we've ever done in a build like this. But I love it so much. We didn't even know that's what was going to happen. I put it up there because Matt told me to. And then it started blowing and we both loved it. We tried to put more of them everywhere, but it never worked because they weren't at the right height. And just so, to end the video, for our thumbnail, I think, we're going to get you a shot of this. Hope you guys enjoy. Like, rate, comment, subscribe. Tell us how much you love this. And who do you think is going to win the upcoming battle? There you go.